Smile, Matt. Smile. Hey guys, back to this 2013 dart. So guess what? I was filming a video doing the starter. I thought I was, had it all figured out and was good to go. Uh, did you find the flashlight? It's got to be around here somewhere. But anyway, so anybody having these no start, no crank uh, issues, you know, everybody wants to assume starter. We did some tests and we were getting voltage at the starter for both the 12 volt uh, constant and the signal wire. So we thought, okay, well, that must be our issue. Um, so we replaced the starter. We filmed a video. So, hey, you guys will be able to watch that if you need to do the starter. But um, we found, and I don't know if this camera's going to let me do it, we found that that didn't fix it. And um, what I did was I bypassed a grounding and I grounded the motor straight to the battery and it started or it cranked. So now we're in here and we're following our ground wire through the passenger or driver's side splash guard. And we see there's corrosion on that battery terminal or on that ground stud right there. So we're gonna break that loose and clean it and see if that fixes it. So we'll, we'll keep you posted, but if you've got a no start, no crank, nothing, uh, you may just have a bad ground and I'll show you how to test that uh, in just a minute. All right guys, so again, this is how we, we tested after doing the new starter, why it still wasn't starting. So Matt, if you wanna hop in, can you get in? I can do it for me. Okay, so he's gonna to try to crank it over right now. Nothing, right? He's trying to, you, you, are you cranking it over or nope. trying? So nothing. So what I'm doing is, and this is not how I would typically do it, but I don't have any extra heavy gauge wire, but I do have some 14 gauge like house wire. I'm just using the ground on it. So I've got a ground thing touching here. I'm gonna use just the ground on this and I'm gonna touch it. You know, don't touch the bare wire cause this is gonna get hot quick, but I'm gonna touch that to the bolt on the alternator. Get and try. That might not be good, there we go. If you get that, if this is doing anything for you and it's wanting to start sparking and everything, it's just not a good connection cause of, of it. Yeah, we're getting the crank now when we ground the motor. Now, it's, I can't keep doing that because it'll smoke. And this is not a good way, okay? You obviously get a thicker gauge wire um, to test this, but if you're just doing a quick bump, bump check, I mean, this is obviously our problem. So we're gonna show you where the ground cables are, what we did to actually fix this, and you can fix this for $0 in under an hour. So before you replace your starter like we did and spend 150 bucks and uh, what, two hours, um, you know, follow us along, we'll go through it. Again, not a good way to test it with this kind of wire. It's not rated for what this starter is pulling. So uh, just keep that in mind. It's gonna get hot, don't use it, uh, except for a quick test if you want. But okay, we'll get started into what we're doing and uh, follow up. All right guys, so step one, after you have determined that, hey, maybe my motor doesn't have a good ground and I'd like to solve that, is go through and we get to take off this belly pan here. It's held in with several eight millimeters eight millimeter uh, bolts. We've went through and loosened them all. This was actually in a little collision before, so it might look a little different than yours. Um, but yeah, eight millimeters, and that's gonna get us in. And I always set the flashlight down. It's right in front of the laptop. It's gonna get us into this driver's side here. This is actually where our ground comes into play. Um, if you can hand me the flashlight, it's on the laptop. And once you get into this wheel well, you'll be able to hopefully see everything we're talking about. Thank you, sir. So, um, where are we at here? Oh, sorry, I am a little off here. So, if you see that frame rail, uh, that part here is actually our ground wire coming straight from the battery, and that is grounding to the frame. And then we see this wire here then goes from the frame to the motor. So if we look up there, we can see a lot of green corrosion, um, and it's not really centering on it, but ignore that. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking at this right here. And, uh, it then goes to the motor block, right? The block right here. So if there's any corrosion between here and there, and we're not getting a good connection, nothing's gonna work. So we're gonna break these loose, clean them and put them back on and see if our motor will start. This is a free of charge check. I'd say do this before the starter because we've already wasted time. So we're gonna do that and follow up shortly. All right guys, so we broke it loose. It is just a 10 millimeter. I used a ratchet wrench and now I'm cleaning everything with just a wire brush. I'm cleaning the stud that's sticking out. I am cleaning this, that bracket itself, and I'll clean the nut off. 
We'll toss it back together while I'm in here. I'm also gonna break that nut loose, clean it up, and uh, put it back on. That looks like it's gonna be a 13 maybe. But uh, you know, if you're trying to save money, check this first because we, we blew the money already. <laughs> so just trying to fix it up. You know what all this means? Hold on a second, Matt. So uh, a lot of corrosion underneath this stud as well. So, I mean, keep in mind, any, any moisture gets under there, it breaks the connection, which is what we're seeing. Uh, it's going to cause problems so be sure to take that off that's a 13 millimeter so 13 millimeter on that one 10 millimeter on the top take them off wire brush them put them back on and see what you get okay i don't know if you can hear it but we just did a remote start as soon as we cleaned those ground connections and this bad boy started right up so get up in there clean your electrical connections from that that top stud there that's 10 millimeter and then uh, clean this 13 millimeter stud uh, bolt right there. Clean it all up, wire brush it, throw it back on. And if you had a bad ground, you will not anymore. So good luck, everybody. Hope that helps. And, uh, you know, didn't cost any money, just some time.